Happy Friday. I wanted to share this new announcement from uh, the Louisiana Treasury. Uh, it is about a $15,000 grant uh, for small businesses. You can learn more about this going by going to treasury.la.gov and clicking this Main Street link up here. Uh, but this is a program uh, issued by the Louisiana legislature. They set aside $300, $300 million for small businesses to apply for up to $15,000. Um, they are taking applications starting July 28th. Uh, so right now it's July 3rd, so it's a little bit early, but it looks like you can come in here and at least fill in your name, your email, and your company name uh, to get on the list. Some of the eligibility requirements are, are listed here. Uh, so you have to be domiciled in Louisiana by March 1st, suffered some sort of interruption, owned by a Louisiana resident. Uh, you have to file taxes. Uh, you have to have filed taxes for 2018, 2019, and have or will for 2020. Uh, no more than 50 full-time employees. Uh, have customers or employees visit a physical location, so online-only businesses are probably excluded. Uh, you're not part of a bigger business. Not sure what that means, but I imagine that has to do uh, with franchises or something along those lines. I think we'll get some more guidelines about that. Um, you don't exist for political purposes or lobbying. Um, and it's an active business, not a uh, passive investment company uh, like real estate. So that wouldn't qualify. Um, there was a press release also on his website that introduced some additional stipulations. Uh, it looked like in the first three weeks of the program, uh, it will be reserved for businesses that did not receive a PPP loan. Uh, so if you didn't receive a PPP uh, for any reason, but you should have, uh, this is a great opportunity for you. Um, and, and again, this looks like it's a grant. It's not a loan. Uh, so if you didn't, uh, I know a few business owners decided to not take the PPP because they couldn't bring employees back. Uh, this is a great option for them. Um, insurance payment or an economic injury disaster loan. It doesn't really specify if the EIDL grant uh, would exclude that too. But uh, this is you know, the loan portion itself, not the grant portion of it. So even if you got the grant, I think you still might qualify into this, at least by this verbiage here. Uh, and then it says in the first 60 days, uh, I don't know if that's after the 21 or what, uh, but it looks like 40 million uh, will be reserved for uh, women, minorities, and veterans. Um, so that's an option as well. Um, so for the most part, it looks like a lot of our Louisiana-based clients will qualify. Um, you know, if, unless it's gobbled up by these businesses, but frankly, I, I don't know how many businesses didn't get the PPP. Um, I know of a few, but most of our clients did. Uh, so I'd expect this contingent's not too big. Uh, and then 40 million, so that's about a, uh, a fifth of it or so, is set aside for women, minority, and veterans. Uh, so you can get, definitely get to the front of the line if you can. But it looks like everyone else, um, you, have, you might have to show that you suffered an interruption in business. We're not sure exactly what that means yet. Um, I know that our clients typically fall into one or two categories. They either suffered a pretty big interruption or they didn't. Um, but this looks like an option for businesses. So just wanted to get this out there to everyone. Um, you know, it's available for now. Come to this website, treasury.la.gov slash Main Street. Enter your name, your email address, and your company name. It looks like they'll let you know uh, when something's available. Uh, and then we'll be sending out some reminders uh, on July 28th uh, for some more help. So... Feel free to reach out if you need any more help. Thanks.